The easiest and safest way to test different Linux distributions is to install them into VirtualBox. You can test many different distributions, see which one you like the most, and then install it on the actual hardware. And in this video, I would like to share with you optimal settings of VirtualBox to test different Linux distributions as guest systems. Let's get started. And you start with creating a new virtual machine. You click on this new button, give a name to this virtual machine. Usually VirtualBox picks up the system automatically. If it doesn't, you can click here, select what operation system you want to use, and then you can also select different distributions here. You click next, and here you allocate the RAM memory. It depends on your hardware. I have quite a lot of RAM, so I usually allocate around three gigs and you create a new virtual hard disk now. I recommend you to keep it default here, in this middle option. Again, you create virtual box disk image here. It is better to use dynamically allocated image because it will take less space on your system. The size of this image grows as your virtual system grows. Usually it is better to allocate at least 12 gigs and if you have more space, it's better to use even more. I usually give 30 gigs because I'm not restricted on my space here. And you click create. So now the virtual hard drive is created, but we are not done yet. We still need to change some settings of this newly created virtual machine. So you can right click here and go to settings. You don't change anything in the general settings here, but you can of course rename this virtual machine if you want. The most important, you need to go to the system. And here, you go to processors tab, and you increase number of cores allocated to this machine. It depends, again, on your hardware. I usually recommend to allocate half of the cores you have. I have eight cores here, so I usually give four cores to my virtual machine. Also, it is not necessary, but it is highly recommended nowadays also to enable EFI support most of the Linux distributions now can be installed in the UEFI mode. And this is a bit more modern than BIOS, so I recommend you to enable EFI support here. Next, you go to the display settings and increase the video memory. Again, it depends what operating system you install, you can go to maximum, but to be safer, it's better to go maybe somewhere half of the available memory. And you also need to enable 3D acceleration. This is very important for many Linux distributions, for example, all GNOME distributions would require 3D acceleration to work properly. So after you have enabled that, you can click OK and start the system. If you start this virtual machine first time, it will automatically offer you to select the installation media and install the system. You can click on this folder and select any disk from here. For example, I can select Ubuntu here. But let's say you haven't done that, and you click cancel here. So let's power off this machine. Next time you start it, it will not offer you that window anymore. And you may be confused how to do the installation, but it is quite easy. You go to devices, optical drives, and choose the optical drive here. Either select Ubuntu, next you go to machine, reset, and during the start you press the letter C, and you will be presented with the Ubuntu installation screen. You select whatever system you want. Let's start Ubuntu in live session. We will make it full screen. As you can see, Ubuntu installation media has loaded in the full screen. You can install this system or test it in the live session. I hope this video was useful and now you would be able to test many different Linux distributions until you find your favorite one. Thank you for watching.